Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Pokemon Blaze Black Part 30. Last time we beat the game and In and Gestus and all of Team Plasma were defeated and now we're going to do our victory lap around Unova. So I don't, okay, uh, this, this might give us a little bit more direction than what Looker said to just find the sages. Hey Cheesy, is Looker through talking to you? If you two try and battle me as soon as I leave my house, you're gonna be so mad. I'm sorry. By the time I went to get the Striaton City Gym Leaders, everything was over. Oh, okay, so she did try and go get them. That's why they weren't there yet. Okay. If that's the case, I let Gestus escape when the Shadow Triad created an opening. Gestus? The Shadow Triad? Bianca, that's how you know you're like a super secondary character, when you don't even know the main players in the story. I'll tell you later about what happened in the castle. It's more important to ask what you plan to do now, Bianca. I know you said some stupid shit about being a model or a scientist, but too bad you're ugly and stupid. That, that was maybe a little rude, Sharon. But, um, that's sitting on the other side of Route 16 when you leave from Nimbasa City. Hmm. If you go that way, you might be able to meet all sorts of Pokemon you've never seen before. Dude, this dude will never leave us alone. Oh, well, if this is nice time. Dude, you were totally up there stalking us, waiting for, like, the time to dip on out and insert yourself into the conversation. I'm on you, Cedric. I see you're all here. Just a moment ago, I got some National Pokedex data from an acquaintance. Since you're here, let's upgrade your Pokedex to the National Pokedex data. Yeah, we, we've, already, we've already seen quite a few Pokemans from the other nations. Why are we last? You can now switch your Pokedexes to the National Mode Pokedex. Completing the National Pokedex will surely be a big challenge. It's not gonna happen. Um, so take your time, enjoy yourselves, and meet lots of Pokemon. Wow, the National Pokedex. Seems there are tons of Pokemon I don't yet know. Oh, I wanna go show- No one cares, Bianca. Huh, Bianca's as impetus as ever, no matter what's going on. Um, I'll travel, yeah, the victory lap. I think that's like what you're supposed to do, is kind of like, do a, like I said, a victory lap around Unova. Let's see, where's the town map? Uh, I guess it, oh wait, there it is. I mean, you really don't have that many key items in this game. So yeah, so we just kind of, I guess we'll just go all the way around. We got these three new towns to go visit. Um, I don't really know if there's anything to do. I know Black City has, like, that's, like, where the dream hidden ability stuff is. There's nothing, I don't think you can really do anything there. Um, I don't exactly remember the, I don't remember this city at all. I remember Undella Town. I know there's one thing we want to do there. But, yeah, I guess we're just gonna kind of run around a little bit and, uh, make our way through the game. Oh, exactly. I guess we'll show part of this beginning stuff on screen. Where am I looking? Um, simply because I'm just going to kind of talk about some, some random stuff. Mainly, uh, do you want to battle, my friend? I can't remember. Don't, like, all the trainers get stronger, too, as, like, a reason to... Because I know if we were to just go straight towards Black City, the trainers there are, like, really high level in this ROM hack. Like, super duper, super high level. Um... You know, honestly, what, what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to uh, try and see where the sage, at least where the first sage is. Because I don't want to, like, necessarily explore every single building in these towns. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in a second. Alright, so we're back. I looked up where, well, I looked up where all the sages were, but I only remember where two of them are. We can probably get to at least those two in this video. We already maxed them all up, right? Um, one is actually on the sea route back over towards this way, I believe. Um, where you have the surf too. This is the place where I went to go catch those love discs off screen to get uh, heart scales. Which reminds me, I should go teach uh, Petal Dance back to Minion. But, because I think most of the major battles we're going to want to do are all actually single battles. Or at the very least rotation battles. So, there's not too much of a reason to keep uh, Energy Ball anymore. Since Ninian combos so well with Petal Dance, I might actually do that. 
uh, maybe either in this video or off screen in between this and the next video. But yeah, I kind of want to just talk about, uh, just kind of mention that this, this series is now on a huge backlog. Um, this is being recorded on the 3rd of November, and it probably won't go up until like the 3rd of December, I would bet. Simply just because of, uh, Oh, it's got a big backlog. I, I, that's the reason. Well, also because this is the only lesson I'm really actively recording right now. This Dragon's Dog has been finished recording for about a month or so, and I haven't started recording the uh, the thing that's going to replace that yet because I'm still like I think I know what I want to do, but I just like I'm not entirely sold on it just yet. Ooh, toxic. That interesting. Um, not really good for our team, but, you know, what I want to do... Oh, yeah, I want to switch up. I want to put Lily in the front of the party instead of Sa... Well, Savin's still fine in the front slot, just in the Thunder Punch, but... Ninian needs the XP, which actually reminds me. Let's, uh, give her a lucky egg. Where are my... Oh, yeah, that's medicine. Probably won't find it there. Because the soft sand is not really useful on her. Um, does anyone else want a lucky egg? Um, you can take it. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll with that for now. Um, but yeah, I haven't started recording that. I think I know what it's going to be. I mean, by the time this episode goes up and is viewable, I, it will have already been decided. So I guess I'll, I, you know, I don't have to worry about like spoiling it or anything. But the, the series I'm thinking about doing it on... And, like I said, you'll know by now if this is what I ended up doing or not. It was the uh, Europa Universalis 4 campaign, because that's a game that I... Tr Why did I just literally just do the exact same thing? That's a game I very much truly do love a lot. It's like my most played game of all time. And I've been wanting to kind of do a campaign on it for a long time. But I just never really was in the mood to do it. And, well, the expansion... The newest expansion came out about a month ago, and I was thinking about recording the series back then, but I laid off on it just for a few reasons that I'm not going to get into uh, here, especially since, like I said, I may not even have done the series, but... Because I meant to actually start recording it Friday, this, well, two days ago, well, yesterday, actually, but I don't know, I didn't quite get to it, because I want to finish the... Uh, the kind of warm-up campaign that I've, I'm doing right now, because I've played the game a lot, but I also, like, didn't touch it for, like, a year, so I'm kind of having to relearn a lot of things, which is, uh, one of the reasons that I thought would be kind of interesting about doing the series would be a little bit more, not like a full-on tutorial, but a little bit more focused on, uh, learning the game or introducing it to new people. But like I said, I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm leaning towards it because there's nothing really else I want to play, and I do want to do something different. Like, it would be very different. I've never played anything like it on the channel. I mean, the closest would be, like, some tactical RPGs, like Valkyrie Chronicles or Fire Emblem, but those are still very, very different. I mean, just in the sense the commentary style would be similar, but that's about the only uh, thing that would be similar. I guess we're just going to keep energy volume. I hope you don't know, like, Ice Fang or fire punch or any move that would hurt me. Okay, good. Nice crit. Good job, Ninian. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to do it, but the problem is, is that I'm not able to finish the thingy I want to do before I start it, and I'm running out of time because Dragon's Dogma only has three videos left. Because I think episode 28 went up yesterday, and, uh, the series ends at episode 31, and this next week I'm not going to be able to record any at all, so which is going to kind of suck because I have three major things to do for school. One is like my super major, like my senior project. The first draft of that is due on Wednesday, and I haven't really worked on it all that much, so it's going to be a busy a few days for me. Oh, nice. A Healy Healy house. But that's something, I mean, really it's something I should be doing right now, is, um... What? Um... Ooh, an egg. Sure. Okay, well, fuck you, I didn't want it anyway. I don't know, I wonder what egg that is. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to battle you. I was like, oh, I should... 
go down and duck under them, and then I just kept running straight, because I'm stupid. Um, but yeah, just kind of talking about that. There is one other game I would kind of like to let's play, but I wanted to replace... Um, I just realized these guys are like 30 levels lower than us. <laughs> no wonder we were uh, destroying them. I was kind of, you know, wondering why we were one-shotting everyone, because, you know... It's because there's a, there's a slight level advantage there. <laughs> but what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's one game, but it, it, it'd be another RPG, and I kind of wanted to replace this series with that. Just because I didn't want to have, like, basically three JRPGs going on at the same time. Even though Dragon's Dogma is pretty different from, like, the standard turn-based JRPG, but it's still, you know, a JRPG. Because Final Fantasy isn't quite done yet. Really, what, I, what another thing was that I wanted to do the EU4 series on like a Saturday thing, like a once a week, like hour long or so videos, just because that game it would be a fairly lengthy campaign. Because I don't really know how much I would want to edit out, and campaigns in that game can be fairly long. Um, there are I would be able to edit out like potentially once things got a little bit later on and kind of speed things up, but. Oh, I keep losing my train of thought, like, completely. Um, but yeah, the other game, it would be, like, a pretty standard JRPG. But... Yeah, and I just didn't want to have three of those. Final Fantasy still has... It's going to take a little bit longer. It's a lot... It, not only is it longer than I thought it was going to be, just from Let's Playing, I... It is, uh... Okay, well, this is Route 18, right? Like... Because we are not finding my mans... Here. It's Route 18. He's somewhere around here. So we're gonna try and sneak past this man. Oh, you piece of garbage! You... I shouldn't have run. I always do that. I guess when you run, it like makes him snap back or something. Fucking veteran Ray. You get your ass beat, veteran Ray. Um... But yeah, I just didn't want to have... Because I do play a lot of the same games. Like, same genre of games, which is kind of... I never really noticed how much I play RPGs until I was starting to Let's Play again. I was thinking about, oh, let's look at the games that I own and what might be fun to play. And it's like, everything I keep gravitating to towards the same type of game. Even if I do try and switch it up with, like, the sub-genres of RPGs. Like, playing, like, Valkyrie Chronicles is like, very different from something like, say, Final Fantasy or... Even Dragon's Dogma is a lot different than even, like, say, Pokemon or something. Or more, or more of your, like, standard JRPGs. Man, I don't have anything to talk about for these battles. These are so, like, super overleveled. Maybe after this, now that I've kind of talked about the Let's Play thingy, we might, uh, start cutting these out. Why does everything know Sturdy? I'm still just salty from the Soul Silver play. There were, like, four of our Pokémon be Sturdy, and it was a completely useless ability, and I'm so mad, still. I mean, it, like, not Sturdy being garbage in Gen 4 made me do, like, an extra four hours of grinding on that playthrough just for the, uh, the red fight, because my whole strategy was Agron needs to one-shot Pikachu with an Earthquake, but Agron kept getting one-shot because he didn't have enough defense, so I ended up having to do like a whole bunch of extra grinding just focused on Agron so that he wouldn't get one-shot about Volt Tackle. It was, it was a ton of fun. Um, I don't think that's what we want to do. I think this was a complete waste of time. Yay. I love wasting my time. Anybody see a sage around here? He's, you know, an old dude. He's kind of sage-like. He says some stupid things. Probably has a Team Plasma emblem. Some type of memorabilia for them. Potentially. Where in the hell is this old dude at? Ah, oh, here he is. Sup? It smells of the sea here. This place is the same ocean spell smell as where I was born. Guest has wandered the land of this world all over, collecting knowledge of all things, while searching for like-minded people. From the moment we met, he understood what I desired. 
the ability to understand the minds and needs of others. This is an ability that everyone needs to survive. My Lord Inn is a kind and excellent person who understands the hearts of Pokemon. But conversely, perhaps, his feelings to understand the hearts and feelings of other people is not developed enough. Of people. Uh, of people, but, uh, but even that was part of the perfection of Gestus' plan. When it comes to Gestus, I cannot separate the truth from the lies. See this? I received it from Gestus, but I no longer need it. I hope you can put it to good use. Ooh, a zoom lens. Um, that's not really useful for any of our team. Because zoom lens is like if you go s second, you get 20% extra. It's basically like a scope lens, but... Is it scope lens that increases accuracy? I think so, but it's, it's like a twice as better version of that, but it only works if you go last. So it's good for slow Pokemon. But our slow Pokemon would be like Megalon, but his only low accuracy move is Hammer Arm, which is 90 accuracy, so I feel fairly decent about... Plus, I really like Rocky Helmet. Whoa, it's Looker! Ha! <laughs> and now, about Team Plasma! I am international. I'm an officer of the International Police. There are so many things you must tell me at once. If that is what you desire. Many thanks! Now, guess it's not what's standing the remains, but five of the Seven Sages to live large. What it is they may be thinking, what they may be hoping, this is the information I have need of. We can soon say I. Dude, you're a fucking weirdo, by the way. We don't, we don't, yeah, we don't know strength anymore. I, remember I got rid of it for... What did I get rid of it for? I think I may have actually done that off screen. I think I got, oh yeah, I got rid of it for Rock Slide on Megalon, simply because Rock Slide was really good against the Elite Four. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll switch back strength, just because we're going to need it. <clears throat> Let's go. I knew we saw that one item. Oh, uh, shoot. If this is, like, something stupid, like an elixir, I'm going to be so mad if I go through this battle and it's not a real item at the end of the road. There's not a pocket a, a bucket of gold at the end of this rainbow pot of gold that's the phrase I was like what what word do they use for a gold at the end of the rainbow yeah it's a pot of gold not a bucket of gold <laughs> okay septile more like I'm gonna get detect you piece of garbage alrighty then we have defeated mr. dude let's see what is here at the Dragon scale. Oh yeah, this is dragon scale. Huh, that would have been useful way back. But granted, about we, we, well, because we didn't get surf until after we beat Clay, so or we didn't get to use it outside of battle, I think. So I think no, we didn't. Did we have surf for the Clay fight? I don't actually remember. I don't think we did. But it was just easier to catch the horses actually than try and come all the way out here. Plus, we wouldn't have been high enough level. So no. Nah. I don't remember when you fight play, but let's go ahead and move on to the second stage, which is it's Striaton Site. I'm trying to remember where the rest of them are. I mean, I still have the Wikipedia page open, so I can just always go check there, but I know there's one in the Dream Yard here. There's one in Chardstone Cave. There may be one in Mistralton Cave. And then there's one on another route. Like, one of the routes that we haven't been to yet. Near, like, Undella Talon or something. I assume he's back here on, like... Oh, yeah, because the, there was the strength thingy that we couldn't move. I don't remember how you get to it, though. Oh, do I have to teach someone cut? Uh... Well, I guess... Is, is Snivy... The one and only Snivers? Is he coming out of retirement very temporarily? Well, apparently, maybe not if I don't figure out a way to get into the fucking building. Uh, someone's PC. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Oh. Oh, we got wallpapers, boys. Oh, yeah, there's other one this week. We, uh, and every single one of them actually had a hard scale, scale which is really weird because. 
Bulbapedia says it's only a 50% chance, but maybe it's been changed and it's not not documented in the uh, the documentation. Yeah, you still no cut. Hey, if you somehow manage to win a battle, you might even get to evolve. Who do we want to get rid of? Sir Kent, you're like level 89, right? Yeah, you can, you can chill there for a little while. Man, who would have thought snipers would get out? It's been so long. God, he's awful. Actually, the leech seed with Big Root was actually pretty good. That's about the only thing I remember being useful in snipers. He would have been good if we'd kept him just because Serpuyer has Contrary and there's some interesting combos with that. Plus, there's a dragon type in this game. So you can, like, combo, like, Drake. I mean, I discussed this in early videos, but comboing it with, uh,. Draco Meteor and Leaf Storm and stuff like that. I don't remember how you get over to the part we're looking for. Uh, I think it's like a confusing perspective type thing. Don't battle me. Oh wait, is this a? Is that? I think that's a break back there, and we can go up. Oh man, a Nidoran. Level eleven Nidoran. <laughs> How will we defeat such a powerful foe? I was expecting it to say, like, can't escape or some shit. Okay, no, you can't. Because I think it's like a confusing perspective type thing. Oh, we could fight an Aldino and get 500 experience. Okay. I know I've already did this because I went back to get a TM off screen way back. I can't remember what it was. What TM was that that I remember coming back here to get? It wasn't, was it Flame Charge? I don't know. Uh, how stupid am I? Uh, I remember getting over there, I just can't figure it out because I'm stupid. I remember, it's something to do with like a confuse, like it, it doesn't look like there's an entrance and there is? Okay, this is embarrassing at this point. Uh, game? Was there, there's something over here and I'm just an idiot? I mean, obviously I'm stupid, but... How the fuck do I get over there? Uh, <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll cut... Till I quit being an idiot. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if I want to acknowledge this, but you just, you just walk, you just walk up. You just, that's like, that's what you do is you, you walk up. I guess what just kept happening is I kept running into like this, and then, I don't know why I thought, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't have an excuse for my stupidity, but I, that was like, probably about five minutes that was cut out, and I literally had to go look it up. And it's just like, go right, retard, and that's exactly what Bulbapedia said, by the way. That was what was written on there. It was, you know, go right, retard. And I did it, and I don't know, I guess I'm just even dumber than usual today. So what, what level Pokemon do you have? Are we- oh, 88. Oh shit, Snivy. You need to get out of this party. Um... I'm a little worried about him putting me to sleep, in all honesty. You're not- you're just pure grass, right? Are you grass poison? I think he's pure grass. You may be grass poison. Okay, he's just pure grass. Or is he grass bug? Yeah, he's grass bug, actually. Or maybe he's just bug. No, he's definitely grass type. Well, I expected him to spore me, that's why I didn't want to, uh, quiver dance. Because I figured he'd just put me to sleep and then, like, x or me or something. I mean, if you're just gonna be an idiot and keep uh, using aromatherapy, okay. Stantler. Stantler is just normal type, right? I don't think his typing's been changed in this game. 
I, mean, I guess it, nothing would really matter. For some reason, I, I'm think, I kept thinking of Draft Rig. I was like, is he Ghost normal? But yeah, no, that's, I'm just thinking of Draft Rig. You know, you're a piece of garbage, Stanler. I want you to know that. I want you to know that you're a low-down, dirty piece of tr trash. And that's why you're dead. Gan Mega, this is the time for snipers. That, that's, a, that's a joke, it is not the time for snipers. Um, is there anything he can really do to us? Is there any reason I, I could just keep Megalon in and go for like a Fire Fang? Right, he knows Fire Fang. Yeah, he still knows Fire Fang. I mean, that's not... Man, that did way more damage than I thought it would. Does Rock really not resist Bug? That just seems kind of backwards. Whoa, 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 chill. Chill out. My dude, how do you just do 100 damage on a not very effective? Like, I mean, Megalon doesn't have the greatest special defense, but come on now, you need to chill out. At least he doesn't have speed boost, so you can be happy about that. He gets, I don't know why, what move he has. He probably has like... I think I think Yanma's other ability is that one. It's either like Keen Eye, or it's the te Technician, the one that boosts the power of ineffective moves or whatever it is. I don't remember. Why is that doing so much damage? I've never used a Yan Mega, so I don't know what his stats are. I I think they're pretty good, but I didn't realize he had that high special attack. I don't feel like it should have been doing that much damage. Let me just keep Ninian in the front. Took a bit of a beating there, so hopefully there's not too many of the Elgather. What the hell is this? Oh my god! Holy shit, there's so many people! Oh god! <laughs> what the fuck is this bullshit? Why are there 97 creepy scientist psychic people down here? Wigglytuff? This, uh, this is gonna take a little bit longer than I thought it would. I didn't realize it was gonna be 84 trainers down here. Let's, uh, you know, let's see how much energy ball does. You just use a dire hit? What? I didn't even know that was a thing. I think the only time I've ever seen anyone use a dire hit is, like, in the Gen 3, uh, 5th gym. Like, the whole gimmick is that the trainers use items in battle, like, some type of... Idiots. And there's like the one, there's like the critical effect room where the thing just like uses focus energy and a dire hit and it's so useless. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna raise my critical hit chance. And then you just get one shot because normal types are awful. And they all have line -oon. Like every single one of them is like, ah, there's like 8 billion normal type Pokemon and they're all like, we've got a line -oon. Musharna? Actually, no, I did want to keep battling. I wanted to switch out. Uh, Energy Ball should do decent as long as he doesn't think he does a light screen. Okay, that's not really uh, what I would consider decent. I do need to remember to switch out uh, Energy Ball for Pedal Dance off screen. I was thinking we might do it in this video, but well, I don't know it's how much. This recording's at 29 minutes. Well, what just happened? We just did 8 billion damage to us. Also, I mean, I, I get it, it, they're super high level Pokemon because of scaling and stuff, and it would be like, you know, disappointing if we're like level 80 and everyone else would fight for us, the game's level 50. But why do these scientists down in the ba basement in the middle of nowhere have Pokemon stronger than literally the Elite Four, the champion, the hero of Team Plasma, and the leader of Team Plasma? I guess we'll put Sabin out front. We really do need to try and avoid these battles. Actually, since that's probably a Psychist. A Psychist? A Psychic? I think that's the, the sprite for Psychics. Okay. Don't do... Oh, 
no. This is a dead end. This is a dead end! Okay. Whoa, God! Okay. Just creeping on past. Creeping on past. Oh, get wrecked, nerds. Whoa! Shit, dude! He's gonna mug me? Boo! Were you surprised? Well, no, because it's like a semi-isometric game, so I can actually see around the a, uh, wall, because my the point of view does not actually come from the character that we're playing. It comes from some omnipotent view of above, so I was able to see you from behind. Basically, we have x-ray vision. Oh, trainer who destroyed our castle, I was surprised by you. You surprised them, but Pokemon and people leave themselves open. Well, they're in a state of surprise, they can't use their powers, like they normally would. Our intention was to surprise people, making our castle appear and chilling off the legendary. Yeah, can like, can we get a breakdown on how the fuck y'all made a castle appear out of grounds? At that moment, we planned to deeply impress people's hearts with the awesome power of Team Plasma and the brilliance of our new world. Now that I've seen the strength, the spirit of you and the gym leaders, I wonder how effective that strategy would, strategy would have been after all. Maybe that strength, the spirit, is what's needed to take Pokemon to the next level. No, all you need to take them to the next level is experience, or you can feed them rare candies to increase their level by one. Uh, I'm sorry to have wasted your time with this silly conversation. Take this with a wide lens. The widest lens. So wait, is wide lens the one that increases your accuracy then? Wait, what did the other dude give us again? He gives the zoom lens. I don't know, I have to look them up because I can't remember if they're different or... Ah, and now about Team Plasma. I am an officer of the International Police, and there are so many things you must tell me at once. Misharna is said to appear here. It's dream mist makes you see dreams, but they are nothing but illusions. The dreams you realize with your own abilities are the real dreams. What kind of nonsense is that? Now, guesses notwithstanding, there yet remains but four of the seven stages still at large. Cool. Um... Just so that I remember, I am going to go fly to Mistralton and uh, teach Petal Dance. I think we still have a hard scale. Or a few. I mean, as you saw in the beginning, we have a ton of Love Discs. I guess not the beginning. Also, I need to get Servon out of the party. Snivers has served his purpose. I get it, because it was an unintentional pun, because, like, served and his name starts with Servine. <laughs> Uh, Sir Kit, please get back in the party. <laughs> you're, my, you're my one good Pokemon. You and Sabin, until a lesser extent. Kingdra's good. Um, Lilligant was, I don't know, Quiver Dance is still really good in some situations. I just haven't been able to utilize it very effectively in a while because we keep getting double and triple battles. And it's really only good in single battles. So it might be pretty good coming up because I think the next few main battles are uh, all single battles. Petal Dance! The dance of her people. So with that done, I don't think there's anything else I need to reteach to everyone. Uh, I'm gonna keep Outrage on Kingdra because, well, eh, it's okay. For the most part, the confusion isn't that big of a deal, and since it has equal attack and special attack, I think it's fine. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're gonna do. Next time we will probably try and do I guess two I guess two stages of video will be kind of the the pace we'll try and set. So I guess at that rate we'll probably have about four or five more videos of the series, somewhere along those lines. So yeah, I'm XG's the eighty seven, stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.